What is up my dragonflies? I want to talk to you about setting effective boundaries today. Now I've spent most of my life, probably about 27 years of my life, being in relationships where I had not set effective boundaries. Because of that I always felt like I was misunderstood, I wasn't valued, I felt like I'd always be giving, 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 and never been actually receiving what I wanted in the relationship. Sometimes I do things that I didn't want to do. I thought that it would get this person to like me more, make sure that I am not left, make sure that they don't stop loving me, they don't leave me. And this is where setting effective boundaries really comes in. You see, what I was missing is that I didn't set boundaries that serve me. When you fail to communicate your boundaries, when you fail to say that this is not alright with me, this is not okay with me, I don't feel good with the way that you talk about me right now or the way that you treat me right now. By not saying this is not okay, you set your boundaries saying this is okay. I will accept this. Oh, I don't like the way that my girlfriend communicates with me. I don't like the way that my boyfriend treats me. He's not caring. He's, uh, he doesn't reply to my texts. He doesn't... whatever it is. And we start complaining and we get into this victim mode. Oh, oh, this is happening to me. You know, I don't like this. And oh, he doesn't change. She doesn't change. And I've tried, but it doesn't change. What is really the root of the problem? You are accepting this behavior. Now, whatever your partner is like, they are responsible for their actions. Yes, they are fully responsible for what they do. But you are also responsible for what actions you accept, for what you allow. By not setting clear boundaries that this is not okay. If you don't want someone coming late all the time, what do you do? You set a boundary. You say, come at this time or I will leave. If they come 10 minutes late, you're already gone because you've arranged the time. First time they'll be like, oh, you know what's wrong? And second time they'll think about it. And if they come late again and you're not there again, the third time you can be sure that they're gonna be there on time. And the same works in relationships, the same works with communications. How you allow yourself to be treated is where you set your boundaries. Lack of boundaries is also where you're setting your boundaries. It means that I allow anything into my life. I even allow people to treat me like crap, to disrespect me, use me and all of that is okay because I don't set my boundary there realizing this realizing where your boundaries are realizing that you have been allowing all the shit that's been happening in your life you have been a part of it as well maybe not active part maybe not creating the circumstances but you are creating the space for these circumstances for this treatment of you if you feel like your boundaries are being violated take a look at your boundaries take a look at really where they're at really what has been happening in your life and how you have allowed this. Your boyfriend has cheated on you. When you met them, when you first started going out with them, there were red flags. Red flags were popping up. Red flags were popping up. You're like, uh, I don't like the way he's talking to other people. I actually don't like the way that he's treating me right now. But you know what? I love him. I love him and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it, let it slide. It's just, you know, it's gonna change. He will change. Same with girls. Sometimes, she can act like a bitch. But you know what, it's okay, it's okay. It's fine, I love her, yeah, she loves me, it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna ignore it. We're just gonna let it flow. And then guess what? Near three years into the relationship, and this person is pouring out all this shit onto you. It's pouring out so much dirt, calling you a piece of crap, saying you're not worth of love, saying that you don't fucking deserve anything. You don't deserve any love, any affection destroying you, destroying your sense of self-worth, destroying any value inside of you that you may hold for yourself. And guess why you can't get out of this relationship? Because you're so committed, you're so like, well, it's gonna get better, it's gonna work. Because you saw those red flags when they were coming up and you didn't do anything about them. You didn't set your boundaries properly. You didn't say that I don't accept this sort of behavior. Sometimes the only way that we can help our people around us teach them is to set the proper boundary and say I'm not accepting this I love you I really love you but this is not okay and regardless of how much I love you regardless how important you are to me this is something that I cannot accept this is something I will not allow into my space I will not allow myself to be treated like this I will not allow myself to be spoken to like this and if you cannot accept that then with all the love I have for you even though you're so important to me, 
I know that you are better than us. I know that you can be more than this. I know your heart. I know your soul. I refuse to accept this jealous you, this angry you, this disrespectful you. I refuse to accept it. So I'm going to love you from afar. I'm going to set my boundaries. And when you're ready, when you're ready to be in this space, from a place of love and respect, that is when you can come to me. That is when we can be together. I hope this helps you understand a little bit about boundaries and where you might be allowing a bit more or a lot more than you really want to be allowing. I love you guys. Rise up and elevate. Woo! Hashtag sunshine spirit. Freaking share this. Somebody might need a little wake-up call about boundaries. I love you guys.